Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. Today, we have a special guest who comes from us from Pennsylvania, and her name is Temple Steele, and she is an intuitive coach guide, and she's going to talk to you about healthy living and nutrition and all of that good stuff so let's welcome temple to the show hi temple how are you hi <laughs> how's it going good good so i'm excited that you're on the show today because you're going to be talking about nutrition and healthy lifestyle and things that we all want to do I guess all of us want to be healthy and want to feel good about ourselves so um I'm excited to hear about what you have to share with everyone yeah yeah me too so, so if you want to start off with telling everyone a little bit about your background and who you are yeah so I am um do you want like my personal <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean whatever you want to do it's real we're all laid back <laughs> Okay. So I am married. I'm a mom of two. I have two boys, 15 and 16, and I'm 45. And I have a background in um, psychology, personal development, health, um, just to name a few. Um, I am an intuitive coach and or guide. And that basically, so it's like people like, what is that? It's, I do all the things that a traditional life coach does. Um, but I just, as an intuitive coach, I go deeper and I help people tap into their intuition. Um, I'm more about helping people be who they really are and kind of work on deconditioning, like who we think we're supposed to be and, and things like that. And that, that's, but not limited to, I mean, I really... Uh, I take a holistic approach towards coaching because you can't really fix one without fixing, you know, the other. Um, so, and the health part is really where I got started. Um, what uh, brought me on this journey and through healing myself, I've helped heal others. And it's really just progressed from there to the emotional, like dealing with trauma and uh, spiritual, which you know, and, uh, emotional, um, mindset, just anything that a, a regular coach, you know, can help you with aside from, you know, say you just want to reach a goal or something. Um, so, uh, that pretty much that's what I do. So yeah. you were saying, um, like, like you got into it because of some things with yourself, yourself, like, do you want to talk about like what caused you to want to do like would, would you having some type of health issues that maybe yeah. made you want to do yeah. this yeah I mean I really have had a health issue since I can remember <laughs> but I think that they didn't really get bad until my car accidents I had two car accidents in a year span and they were both weather related, uh, you know, living up in the Northeast, the, you know, the weather can be just crazy. And so uh, I think I was 18 or nine, 18 and 19, and I got into two really bad car accidents. And um, from there, it just spawned a whole slew of like health issues. Um, I started having panic attacks, which I didn't even know what a panic attack was back then I just remember sitting you know in my chair at late at night and I just I couldn't breathe I started freaking out didn't know what it was you know my family didn't know what was going on and then I kind of just dealt with it I didn't really do a whole lot I didn't know there's anything that you could do so my symptoms got progressively worse and it interfered with work I was at the time traveling I was a model and it got to the point to where I couldn't drive. And so the, you know, the later, I later found out that I had PTSD and, you know, that doesn't hit you right away. So it was probably, I don't know, maybe a handful of months later where, um, like, I just, I remember going to a job. I, I was leaving from Pennsylvania, going to like Baltimore and I I got on the highway and I couldn't do it. I had to turn around and come back home. And that, that from that point, I knew I had a problem. Um, but it took many years to 
really figure out like how to recover from that. Like I went to a traditional doctor who gave me Zoloft and, and I'm super, super sensitive to any kind of meds. Like I, for whatever reason, I just, I can't take any kind of prescription meds, you know, pain med, anything. Like I just don't do, do well. Um, but I was desperate and, to try um, anything. So he prescribed the lowest dose, dosage of Zoloft and it seemed to work for maybe, I don't know, a year or so. And then I got off of it and um, I was okay for a bit. And then my symptoms came back. And so I tried the Zoloft again <laughs> and, and it was, you know, whatever the, the milligrams or whatever it was, it was so minute. I remember taking the pill and then going to bed and had a full blown panic attack, like just heart racing, couldn't breathe, freaking out, wanted to, you know, it was, and I like grabbed my husband and he, you know, and it, it was scary. Like, I just didn't know what was going on. And I knew in that moment that that was not going to be an option for me that confirmed you know, my not being able to take like, you know, conventional medicine just didn't work for me. So I said, I've got to do my own research. And um, so really, I just got my hands on anything I could read on nutrition and supplements. And um, it was a journey, but I really started to, I researched, you know, post-traumatic and, you know, what it does to the body. And, um, it, it was a journey. As well. <laughs> it's, uh, but I am, I'm a seeker of knowledge and with, you know, and without our health, we really, our quality of life, it just, you know, it's hard to really enjoy anything when you're dealing with any kind, anything kind, you know, health related, whether it's mental or physical or whatever. Um, but you know, I, I began to get better through diet and exercising and supplementing because, you know, when we have like something traumatic, it depletes our body and it hurts our adrenals. So my adrenals were fried. Um, and that turns into like physiological responses, which means, um, you can't talk yourself out of what's happening with your body. So by addressing like those issues, um, then you begin to heal and it, it's, um, kind of hard to explain without really getting into too much detail, but you really have to heal your body. Um, and it's a whole, you know, it's a holistic kind of thing and you have to deal with the, you know, with the trauma and find, find what works. I mean, I, I literally tried everything under the sun, you name it. Like I've tried it. I've been like my own Guinea pig. Um, but so I got better from that. And then I had my two children, had them back to back, didn't take care of myself. That create like created a whole slew of health issues. I had chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic strep, um, the EB virus, uh, EBV virus. Um, what else did I have? I had, uh, I'm trying to think of it, like literally like a myriad of symptoms that, and then, um, so I went on that journey and nothing that I was doing was really working. Um, at a certain point I got pneumonia, like my body was basically shot. Um, I knew I needed like an integrative medicine doctor. That's just kind of like my, through all of my research, I'm like, I need, like, I knew what I needed, but I didn't know how to find it. And that was like me listening to my intuition. Like I need someone that does a blend of both, you know, Eastern and Western medicine. And I found um, by chance, a integrative medicine doctor who helped put me back together. I mean, I did acupuncture, IV therapy, vitamin IV therapy, allergy pills. Um, I did the chelation, like for the heavy metals, I had every test like ran on me and I did everything. And it was a slow process of getting better. Um, and, but what's funny is I couldn't understand why I wasn't getting better. Cause I was addressing, you know, everything. And, um, and even like, so as I was getting better, emotional stuff started coming up like past traumas and, you know, stuff from like my childhood and, 
you know, I realized that my behavior was just, I, I was learning a lot. It wasn't just about my health. Um, but you know, I'm like, I, I should just be getting better and I'm not. And so there was like one test we hadn't done was the allergy test. I was at allergy shots, but um, I had my doctor run like a different allergy, like panel or whatever, because I told him, I said, you know, I said, I think I'm allergic to eggs. And, and that was the one thing that I was eating every day. And, um, he's like, yeah, you're probably fine. He's like, but I don't think, you know, you would be, it would be that big of a problem. Right. So I said, well, let's just do the test. And because I had cleaned up my diet, I was eating very clean. Um, and I'm like, I should just feel like more, like a more significant kind of healing going on. So we, <laughs> he did the test and it came back that I was highly allergic to egg whites. And I'm like, okay. He said, yeah. He's like, yeah, you were right. So had I not like listened again to, you know, my own intuition, um, I would have just been like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, but for me, like I go down every rabbit hole and I, I kind of disregard, not disregard. I take in what people say, but at the end of the day, I still do what I feel is right for me. And I don't know if we all, I would say we all have that. It's whether or not we listen to it or if um, we're tapping into it and the healthier we, healthier we are, the clearer that becomes. It, and it just, you know, it becomes easier just to make the right decisions for us. But anyway, so I cut out eggs and I am telling you within two weeks, I felt like a million bucks. It, I mean, it was, it was so drastic that I was like, wow, this is incredible. I'm like, you mean to tell me like, I mean, I'm sure all of the, the treatments I was doing were cumulative because regaining your health is a process. Um, it's trial and error. It's getting in touch with yourself. It's talking to, uh, you know, as many people as you can that are knowledgeable and doing research on your own. Um, you know, but when I stopped the eggs, it like I cleared up. Um, I felt amazing. My energy went through the roof. Um, so, and then, you know, I started to think that healing really, like it's a process, but it's not really, there's really the basics to healing. It's, you know, eating healthy. It's our mental health, like what's going on there. Um, you know, emotional, behavioral, like learned behaviors. When we address those things and we know how to, um, we have the tools to become healthy, to balance all that stuff out. It's really simple. It's just doing the work and everybody wants a quick fix. And there's just not a quick fix. The solutions are sim usually simple solution you have to put the work in and you have to you know it's so much easier to maintain our health than try to acquire it and because you know like i said um when you're not feeling well you're not good for anyone around you either you know and that energy brings everyone down it creates stress and so it's like we owe it to ourselves and to those around us to heal. And then when we heal, we share that with others, you know? Um, so, but I did, my health got, I got really, really, I felt really, really good. And um, like I said, then I began to address like emotional things that were going on with me and trying to understand why I behaved the way that I behaved. Um, and, you know, mentally what was going on there, what were my blocks? Why couldn't I, you know, um, achieve certain things or, um, or whatever. So I, you know, one by one explored all that, did my own research. I did go to therapist. Um, unfortunately for me, didn't have much luck. Like I just felt like they didn't give me any tools. Um, and now again, I have friends who have amazing therapists. So I just didn't that for whatever reason, it panned out that the ones I tried, <laughs> they weren't much help, you know? Um, but again, it's all about finding the right people, taking in their information and giving it a try. If something doesn't resonate with you. Um, then that's, you need to, you need to listen to that, um, so, but here I am, I just, I'm healthy. And when I get out of balance, like I know, I know how to get back into balance. 
And, you know, these tools are invaluable. And so that's why I'm like, you know, for all of the pain and agony, frustration I've gone through, if I can just help someone else um, on their path, then, you know, it's, it's all been worth it because I've already helped so many people uh, because I just, I, I'm able to see what they don't. I have the knowledge, I have the experience and um, you know, it's, it's exciting to inspire others to want to get healthy or to live a better life, you know, um, because growing up, like uh, majority of people I talked to, like we didn't have, we didn't know any of this stuff, you know, how to deal with our trauma and um, like diet. I mean, unless you're born into a family that knows what they're doing. I mean, we're, it's near impossible to eat healthy with what is in the grocery stores, you know, I mean, it's, you we really have to be mindful, but it's all going, it's just going back to the basics of eating whole foods and avoiding the processed foods. Um, yeah, I know they're good and they taste good, but at a certain point when you begin to heal, you just don't feel good eating much of that stuff. Like you just, you don't add it for, for me, like it affects my behavior. And if I eat, um, for example, if I eat wheat, really crappy wheat, it makes me emotional. Like I'm very kind of up and down. And so, you know, it's paying attention to those things. But the problem is, is if you're eating like crap, that's all you eat you're just, it's hard to really know what's going on. But once you start cleaning up your diet, you can kind of gauge what's going on. Like, okay, no, this food makes me react this certain way. Oh, I'm feel incredibly calm and at peace when I'm eating, you know, whole foods. And really that's what happens is you just, your head becomes clearer. You make better decisions. You're able to navigate life easier. And I think people need to know this, you know, and it's, and you can really talk until you're blue in the face, but until you experience it, you know, cause most people are like, eh, yeah, whatever. I know I, I should do that, but it's not until you've done the work and you have felt the impact that you just, you want to tell everybody, you want to share it with everybody. Like I know everybody can feel good. So, um, but yeah, that's a little bit of my journey and, um, I'm trying to think of, of what else there's so much more I could go on for, <laughs> for days. But as far as, you know, like what I help people with, um, it's, it depends. I can, you know, health related, emotional, you know, like trauma relationships. Um, you know, if you want to meet your goal or something, you know, you know, something that you want to achieve, I can help. I, I really get down to the core of who a person is being like, so, I have the natural ability to coach. Um, it's just in me. And I didn't really figure that out until I started taking some courses and talking to people that I'm just meant to do this in this life. And um, it's really kind of an amazing thing. I'm able to um, feel other people. I hear what's being said behind the words. So there's not, so it's kind of hard to, um, have a session with me and me not see your truth. I see your potential. I'm very good at making things simple and efficient. That's kind of my thing. I'm like the, the bird up on the branch. I can get you from A to B really quick. Um, that's just like my superpower or whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, like I said, I have probably a ton more stories, <laughs> um, but it's a journey. It's a journey. Being healthy is a journey. Taking care of ourselves is a journey. But when we do that, we have so much more to give to others. You know, it's a, it's like the butterfly effect, you know, mm -hmm. what we do really does affect everyone around us and, and you know, not just the people around us. So it's really important. Yeah. Yeah. It's like whatever you fill your mind and body with is what you give out. You know what I mean? Like you're taking it all in. So that all makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So like you provide these services, can you do it virtually with people? 
Absolutely. Yeah, I do virtual. I do in person. Um, I even do. Um, I actually do hike coaching, but obviously that's I'm not going to meet, you know, like a stranger, like a guy out. In right. <laughs> so I have to be a little bit discerned, you know. Right. Right. <laughs> but I've done like group group coaching, you know, going out for a hike because getting out in nature, you know, is really important. It helps ground you. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, absolutely. I can coach anyone anywhere, you know, um, do you want to, um, provide like your contact information on that part of it? Cause you're going to talk about some other stuff too, aren't you? I can. Yeah, I can definitely, I can go into whatever, you know, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, I am accepting, um, clients, not a whole lot because I'm deep into research right now and developing a program um, so I can help more people. Um, but I'm definitely uh, have availability. So right now my website is um, being redone. So you can reach me on Instagram and my handle is uh, Temple Made Me Do It. That's my first name, Temple. Um, and there's a book now button. You can, you can go ahead and book a session or you can DM me if you have questions and, you know, I'm prompted at getting back. So that's the best way to reach me. Um, and then I think, actually, I think my email is on my Instagram too. Um, but DM is just the quickest way. Uh, I get so many emails that <laughs> I don't want to miss it. Right. But, um, Yeah. Make sure you reach out to Temple um, if you're interested in getting with her about um, coaching you. And then you were going to talk a little bit about um, something else. I forget the name of it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, because I'm an intuitive coach, I, I, I dig deep really quick and I can get to the root of, you know, a person's problem. It's easy for me to gain clarity. Um, and you know, we go from there. Uh, the other thing that I've been, that I've recently come upon that's relatively newer is a thing called human design. Um, <coughs> and it's basically a combination of astrology, I Ching, Kabbalah and Vedic now, but it's not, it's not a religious practice it's not it's basically this guy um had this information come to him many years ago or i think in the 80s um and i'm gonna screw up his name so i won't even bother but you can look it up <laughs> google's very resourceful um but it is based on there's five energy types and um you know for for example uh there are we are, uh, there's five different, you know, five different kinds of people, five different energy types. Like there's a projector, uh, man. Manifesting generator reflector. So just to give you a little bit about vector. And I think it's 20% of the population makes up projectors and we're literally meant to be guides. Um, can you hear me okay? Is it, and it says the internet is unstable. Um, but anyway, so as a projector, we're actually meant to be guides. And um, so it would be fitting that I have turned out to be, you know, a life coach. Um, and, and there's different kinds of projectors and I am what they call a mental projector. And when I found this out, I was like, well, this really makes a lot of sense. So there's, it's only two to 3% of the population are mental projectors. So my perspective is really, really unique. So that, and, you know, looking back, it's like, yeah, because I have the ability to figure things out that other people don't see but it may, it's very effective at helping others. So I can help you be more efficient. You know, I can guide you to be like, no, this isn't going to work. This, you know, this is your direct route. I can get you there faster. Um, so it's, it's really quite fascinating. And then we have like these nine um, centers. There's like a chart that you read and there's nine centers, like the chakra centers. Um, and so for, for example, I wish I could show you, but for example, for me, um, I wonder if I have, I don't have it in front of me.
for me, my head and there's what's called your anja are colored in and the rest of me is undefined, wide open, which means I literally take in the world around me. Like I, when I have like a one-on-one -on -one with someone, I can literally feel that person. I can go at that allows me to coach them in a way that they need coach. You know, so my coaching is individualized. Um, I, so if you're feeling, and this is stuff I all knew. So when I found this human design, I was like blown away. Like everything made total sense. But, you know, say you're on a scale of one to 10, you're feeling sad. Like, say you feel like a, a two. For me, I feel you like at an eight. So if I say to you, hey, are you feeling all right? You know, are you feeling like sad? And you'll be like, oh, why are you, you know, it, it can kind of be off-putting because to you, you're not feeling that sad. Whereas to me, it's like, wow, she's really feeling sad. But that allows me to take another person in and kind of feel what's going on and to get like a sense of who they are. Uh, it's really, really cool. So, but we're all, we are all built different. Not everyone is like that. And I just thought, and I, cause I'm an empath already. I can feel people, you know, um, it's just, it, it blows my mind, honestly. So, and then what happens is I, um, also like take people's energy in and kind of amplify it. I don't know if that makes sense. And then, um, you know, I have the ability to either attract people because they feel that like that I am a healer or I repel them because I can be a mirror to the parts of them that they don't necessarily like. So it's a, it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, but in using this, you know, you can use this on your children on how to parent them and how to let them be who they are you can use it in business like if you're hiring someone or working with someone you can look at their chart and be like okay this is who they are and in your relationships how to navigate you know your significant other um it's it's really mind-blowing this isn't a if you believe it or not kind of thing like it is it's so accurate it's it's ridiculous. So I'm super excited to use it. Um, it just makes what I do even more efficient and I'm still pretty new to it. Um, but you know, like if, if someone were to book a session with me, like I will pull up your chart and it'll help me kind of see what's going on. Like for example, um, I had a client, you know, time management is, is another thing that I help people with, but I had, um, I had a client who wanted help with time management and, uh, you know, I was going to have her do a time audit, which is grueling. Let's be real. Like it's where you literally write down what you do all day long for, you know, a number of days to see where your time is going. And, but now I didn't have her human design at the time. Um, but I, and in speaking to her, <laughs> I realized this isn't going to work for her. So that was like my intuition at play where I'm like, yeah, okay. Cause there's, there are times when you want to push a client to do something. Cause you know, it's good for them. And then there's a time where, you know, there's a tool you can give them and you know, it's not going to work because it's not how they're wired. So I was able to go back and look at her chart after the fact, this was like, you know, maybe a month or so later, I was uh, right in between when I found the human design, looked back and it was like, oh yeah, she's not meant to have a consistent schedule you know, and this is huge. So as a coach, if you are trying to just push certain um, tools on people, um, it it can actually not be a good thing. Now you're, you're draining energy from them instead of, you know, we want to give energy to people. We want to conserve their energy and use, you know, you use ourselves in the best way possible. So, you know, it tells you little things like that. Like, should you be eating consistently or do you need a morning routine or do you, it needs to be, you know, every day it's something different. Are we, you know, do we have like, like I said, like a ritual um, and our best environment to live in and how we take in our environment. I mean, it's, it's so involved and then it helps you decondition who you are. Now you don't need this tool to do it, but it's just really detailed. You can get into it and really see the help that you need. I mean, it, it's amazing um, what it's done for me. Like, for example, with all of my health issues, 
um, you know, after my kids, I had that chronic fatigue syndrome and it's because, well, I didn't take care of myself, but even now what healthy, I do not have the energy of a manifesting generator who they're just meant to do. They are like the workers and I'm meant to guide like them. And I'm not built energy wise to do what they do. And that's okay. This is not like a bad or good thing. It's who we are, who we're built like as, and so for me, I need frequent, like I need to be able to take naps. I need more rest than most. I have to, um, I have to be really careful and because, and I use, I'm more mind oriented using our mind burns more energy than any other organ in the body. So I'm like, Oh my gosh, this makes total sense why I'm tired because I'm, I I'm constantly researching, constantly figuring out problems. So once we know our energy type, now we can begin to live more authentically with who we're meant to be. And we're not, you know, this whole like killing ourselves, working a job nine to five, we're not built to do that. Some of us are workhorses and we are meant like we just, we thrive off of it. We need to be doing that. And other people like me, I'm not, I can't, I cannot work a nine to five, 40, 60, 70 hours a week. I can't. And once I had my children, I saw that, like, I couldn't do it. My kids are 12 months apart. Like it nearly killed me. So, um, now I'm very mindful of my energy. You know, I'm very mindful of where I put my time, how I nourish my body. The foods that I eat is very important. Um, but knowing this human design, it kind of just speeds up the trial and error process of like all the crap that I went through. You know, I could have saved myself probably some time and stopped beating myself up because I can't, I can't just go, go, go. And that is, that's a problem that projectors have is that when we're around like the manifesting generators, we get our energy from them, but we can run ourselves into the ground because once we're away from them, we're exhausted. Like I can't be around, um, a lot of people for a long period of time. I just, I get drained. I, I can't do it. Um, so being mindful of all of that, just having that information, it's a relief. Um, being able to find where we're conditioned, you know, like what, what do we even question why we do some of the things that we do? You know, are they learned? Why is, why do we have to do things this way? I'm all about like, um, you know, creating a new paradigm that works for us where we're thriving and we're not killing ourselves, um, you know, to live our dreams because we're not meant, it's not meant to be that way. That's what, you know, we've been taught, but that's not, it's not the way. So I'm literally meant to guide people to become their true selves, heal all the crap from the past, everything, all the stuff that, you know, doesn't suit us and live your best life. And like, and again, it's the, when we're living our best life, we inspire others to do the same. And it just has a trickle down effect. It affects, you know, the world essentially. Um, so I'm very, very passionate about this stuff. It's really exciting. And um, yeah. I think that you met your calling for sure. <laughs> Because you, you have like so much experience, like you're, you know, well adjusted on it, like you've lived it. So now yeah. you can help others. You know what I mean? Like, I just think that um, this is a perfect fit for you. And I think you're going to help so many, you know, yeah. forward. And yeah, and I can relate a little bit to like some of the stuff you were saying, like, I'm kind of like that too, in a way, because, you know, I, I do have PTSD as well. So like, I'm the same way, like, I have a hard time being around a lot of people for a long period of time. Like, I got to get away. From yeah. So yeah. I think that's yeah. some of that, you know, condition or whatever, but, um, but I, I believe everything that you're saying, I, I it all makes sense. You know? Yeah. 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 So maybe we can do, you know, we'll pull up your chart or something and maybe mm -hmm. have another, right. yeah. <laughs> another podcast yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and I can be that. like, Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> so I wish I had thought about it. I just wasn't sure how much time we were going to have. So I could have done you know, a reading on you or whatever, but, um, yeah. yeah, that was really interesting. Like what you were talking about with that human design. That was, I, I enjoyed listening to that. It's, 
it's fascinating. It's beyond, and there are other tools out there like it. Like there's called the um, predictive index, the PI. I don't know if you've heard of that. Like they use that for businesses and hiring employees to make sure they're in the right, you know, right position and how to effectively communicate with each type of person. Um, so that's pretty fascinating too. However, I have felt that the human design resonated more with me and is deeper. Um, it's again, it's the coolest thing that I've come across. And I research a lot, like literally you could find my head in a book, any spare moment that I have, if I'm not like out in nature. <laughs> and I think like being out in nature too, like, I think that helps a lot too. I know just with me, if I just go for a walk and stuff, it helps clear my head and makes me yeah, feel better and like getting fresh air and the sunshine yeah. and you know. Yeah, it's it really is all the best. I apologize if you hear my dog. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> um, it really it like life really is simple and the solutions are simple and we tend to overlook, you know, the things that we can do for our health, whether it is getting outside, eating whole foods, um, you know, sleep, water, all the basics. All the bait, that's really it. When you have that foundation, you can build on that. It's really a matter of tweaking all the other stuff, unlearning who you, you know, thought you were, who you were supposed to be. It's very, very freeing. And I love, you know, I love to um, help people like get to that point to they were just, they're free. They're free to be, you know, who they knew that they were, you know, um, so, but yeah, love it. Right. <laughs> well, um, thank you so much for coming on the show and educating everyone about um, health, healthy choices and healthy living. Yeah. Um, so again, if you want to tell everybody, um, you know, how they can get in contact with you one more time. So that way they can reach out. And Yeah, you can. The easiest way, like I said, is Instagram. Uh, Temple made me do it. That's how you can find me. You can book now or DM me. And I mean, you can also email me at, uh, I think it's hello at templemamedoit.com. And then my website will eventually be up. You know, I'm kind of in the process of designing it and working on programs. So I'm not really, uh, it's not really ready yet, but that doesn't mean that I can't do my job. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I enjoyed having you on. Um, yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you everyone out there for listening to Temple's um, story. And, you know, she has a lot to offer all of you. So I definitely recommend reaching out to her. And I just hope everyone has a great day. And um, I hope you keep in touch, Temple. And <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and um, thank you again for coming on. Thank you. I enjoyed having you. Bye. Bye.